I lost my Minecraft world back in 2017, and all I had left was a bunch of maps and diagrams that I spent five years revising and refining. Now come with me as I go on an adventure to get back my Minecraft world and to make it bigger and better than it ever was. This is Boaty Gamer Minecraft. And welcome back to Boaty Gamer Minecraft. Last episode we did the Horse Dyer TM and because of the road network in what's going to be the village of Fort Nethermore, this required five diodes, and here, and here they are, and well, the next several episodes are going to be basically making a new village where, where this village used to be, entirely themed around a nether fortress, but of course this is going to take a long time, right now what we're going to tackle is the challenge of the road network and maybe it might bother you that I have the, the data the, the F3 on the screen I that, that's part of my workflow always has been and sorry if it bothers you but I kind of need it to function properly so this is the road that that will go to Central Village and it has a little exit further east to Westall. That's the road that goes to, to Westall. Back to Fort Nethermore we have another road that goes to Ajaxakatlan and well these two are going to villages that we've not tackled yet. We're basically just laying them in preparation for when we actually get there. This is another road that's going to go to another village that we haven't tackled yet. And this goes to Ajax Takaplan. That's the farmer's village, the important large farmer's village over there. And we have to, to connect them. As you can see, I've already done a bit of a layout here, and the first thing we're gonna sort of tackle is the way from Central Village to Ajaxakatlan through this part here. It will eventually land in this ramp. So, I have to take some measurements, some command blocks and such and I'm on it there we go we have a basic layout on how it's going to actually leave the and if, if you're wondering this is because this is going to have another road coming from over there from other villages north of here that we will have to tackle later and of course over there is going to be a another another village called Bakalingrad, and we want to also make the layout to to connect it to make our jobs easier later. Now this template of essentially eight blocks here and out two blocks at a time is my favorite way of, of making uh, highway entry and exit on Minecraft and from that we just make the ramp now 
Now, of course, the the barriers for the Hinafadeses are not going to be built yet, but we are going to have to mark where the, where the walls are going to be. one to be ahead the exit over here and there we go with at least one part of the, of the road but of course this is going to be Another, another connection and it's going to take from a Dexaka land to Centaur village oh and I think I did this one wrong well I guess I'll have to fix it later because now I have to tackle the, the problem of this exit over here Part of, part of the competition with this road is that it's also going to join another road over here. So, let me show you a little bit how to make a highway corner on Minecraft. So, layout like that. there and now I need this one to come down now I'm going to mark this one just to let us know that that this exit is going to be closed because well I hit it I built it in the wrong spot Have the, we have the highway entry and obviously there's that we're going to have to fix eventually which might as well dismantle it now now that, now that we have the footprint of where the entry is going to be might as well dismantle this thing at once because this part will have to switch over to the other side of the road.
that. That's how it is supposed to be. None, none of this wrong side of the road. Building it on the wrong side of the road. So, well, because it's a left turn, you get the crossover. one part ready. Now it will take a little bit of time to figure out exactly how I'm going to connect this to the two rows over here, but it shouldn't be too complicated. And there we have basically the, the two rows that are going to join together from, from the two villages over there, although that will come in future episodes. And now I have to check if any more roads are still pending and it looks like those are it now of course i left here where a ramp was supposed to be so might as well just build the ramp right now and just like that this village will eventually kind of look like another fortress and it's kind of starting to sort of begin to take shape. This is going to take a long time and the next step is of course to make all of the barriers and well I could we could be here all day I'm just going to show you the final products. And there it is all of the roads with the barriers and it gives us all the possible trajectories a horse might take from village to village. So, over there, that village not been built yet, so that road's not going to be used yet, but it's good to be prepared for when it is built in a future episode. This is for a different uh, village. This one, this one's already built. This is at the second land, the, the farming village. You have this one, this is gonna go back to Central Village and has an exit to Westville. And these two are gonna be going to villages that we haven't tackled yet, but as I told you, it's good to have everything prepared for when we actually do those villages. The road's already built. And so we're done. This is going to be a village of clerics and in our next episode we're going to make all the all the buildings necessary for these clerics to, to actually function. Now of course this is an older version of Minecraft so the actual cleric professions of the villages are not going to take effect until we actually upgrade to a future version. But that's the plan, to, to make everything like the framework and then upgrade and, and the framework's already done and it can be put to work. So for now I say goodbye and see you on the next episode.